It's 9 p.m. and children here are already preparing for school on Monday. Going to school now has become a mini hurdle, and so children are not so excited. The crack of dawn brings the undesired to reality, and children have to go to school in a building that has portions submerged. I'm currently at the Thy Will School Complex here in the Germanu community in the water region. And behind me is one of the classrooms in the school, which was submerged in water. Of course, the water has receded a bit, and so it looks like things will be returning to normalcy soon. But other portions of the school, including their urinal as well as their toilet, has been submerged at least halfway in the water. And for now, students do not have a place of convenience. It seems when the flag take, has taken the school, there is no place for us to stay again. And when we are in the class, there's no space. When the teacher is teaching to, it's like we don't get it. With no proper place of convenience, the students now have to go to the nearest bush to ease themselves. If we want to, we, we need the water, uh, the water comes here, so we feel difficult to need. At times, if you want to need, we have to go back. At times, we feel shy. When, uh, so people to be there watching at us. So you can see that some of the parents will have to use their motorbikes to bring their children in batches to school because the water has taken over a very important or significant part of the road which they formerly used to come to school. And so this is one of the parents who is bringing five of his children to school via a motorbike and that is a longer route as compared to the one covered by water. Senna and so far and also. The baby is faster than the baby do I say what? First, no, say me to four and do say, say me to one liter. But as I say, I say, say me to say three liters. More important is how badly the current situation has affected teaching and learning. Students whose classes were submerged have been moved to other classes, causing congestion. This is one classroom. Now they can't use it again, so we have to move them to different classrooms. Or we have students in that class, so now the class is congested. There's no space for student teachers to, when they are writing, for you to check what they are writing, if it's good or not. They find it difficult to do that. Till now, the National Disaster Management Organization has not stepped foot in this community, despite assurances that relief items were on their way, and children continue to suffer the effects of the floodwaters. The community is calling on government for urgent help. Judith Brown, TV3 News.